All right, so weight loss and weight management can be one of your goals. It shouldn't be all of your goal. It shouldn't be the only goal. I just had a great call with a coaching client. She has been losing consistently each week, uh, like I think about a half a pound a week. And she was sharing with me that she's coming to the realization what she had done in the past to lose weight was really not sustainable because she wasn't able to do other goals in her life at the same time. She thought that weight loss had to be the big priority on her list, maybe the only priority on her list, and work projects she wanted to do at the house, um, you know, relationships, all that stuff kind of started to fall down the, the list of priorities because she thought weight loss had to be this, let me, let me book it, get it done, check it off. And now she's seeing that no, no, I can switch careers, I can have surgery, I can go on vacations with my husband, I can eat things I like on a, on a weekly basis, and I can still lose weight. And I want to share that message because I think it's a really hopeful message that I actually, first off, I don't view your priorities as being a list. So a lot of times people think, okay, this is my top priority, I've got to make this my top priority. I actually view my life as a plate, like a dinner plate. And I envision different slices of what would be a pie representing the different things I value in my life, right? From spending time with my family, to taking care of my body, to you know managing my business, all those things. So each slice represents a different priority in my life. Through the years, different pieces of the pie have expanded and covered more real estate while others have to shrink. What most women do is they keep lumping pie slices on top of pie slices. They keep agreeing to things that they don't really value uh, to please others. And so they have their slices on the, on the plate, but then they're taking on all this extra pie. And before they know it, they're overwhelmed, burned out, not really making progress on anything. I have learned for me, I can only have three to five kind of priorities at any given time in my life. I can only have so many big value things that matter to me. So that way I can evenly distribute my time, my attention and my focus. But what is interesting is there's been periods with Half Size Me where I've had to really buckle down and put more time and effort and do more. So that piece of the pie has expanded. It's covered more real estate. It's required more of my time and attention. So then I may have to ask for help on doing some of the other things that are still priorities, but that I can't devote as much time to. And what she was realizing was she can still have the career that she's moving into, be excited about it, but realizing right now that that part of her life is taking up more real estate. So she had this beautiful moment, this clarity, where she said, I wanna lose weight a little quicker. I know it's gonna require a little bit of a more of a deficit, but I see me transitioning into this new career and I realize, and this is where I get excited as a coach, I realize right now is not the optimal time to do that. I can't do, I can't increase both at the same time. She wanted to focus on her career, keep her calories where they were, accept a slower weight loss, but realizing that her career was going to take up more of her focus for the next several weeks or the first couple months. That is what I want to encourage all of you to think about. Think of your life as a plate. You've got your different value points on the plate. They're taking up X amount of real estate and really ask yourself if I'm expanding one of these, maybe you're choosing to have a baby, you're expanding your family. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're um, switching positions like my client is and she's getting a better job. Maybe you're going back to school. Maybe everything else is actually pretty easy going right now and you really do want to take a bigger calorie deficit. So you may choose to focus more on your weight loss, right? And, or your health. And so what you want to keep in mind with all of that is you want to not open up or spread out any one piece of pie and then do another one at the same time. Try to only, if you're going to be working harder on one piece of pie, for that to be the only one, okay? Don't let, like what my client said, you know, I realize I could take a bigger deficit, 
but right now I'm also starting this new career and I don't want to double up. And that's what I want to encourage you all to do. Think of this as a plate and you have to keep balance and there's only so much real estate and you can't be working too, diff too hard. You can't be putting a lot of effort on one piece and then also on the other at the exact same time. You want to think about one at a time and making sure you're prioritizing the one that's the most important right then. So I hope this analogy helps. Please like and subscribe and let me know how I can better help you.